Hey everybody, Akiris here. Welcome to Dredge. Dredge is a single player fishing adventure with a sinister undercurrent. Sell your catch, upgrade your boat, and dredge the depths for long buried secrets. Explore a mysterious archipelago and discover why some things are best left forgotten. This will be due out sometime in 2023. Right now what we're looking at here is a demo of chapter one. You guys can also check it out as long as you do so before October 10th, 2022. Just head on over to Steam and the demo should be available for free there. All right, let's get started here, folks. Digging our boat so far. Sun is setting quick, though. And it looks like the fog is rolling in. It is thick. That didn't sound good. Nope. That's never a good thing. The lighthouse looked like it was working, though, so I'm not sure what happened there. Maybe the fog was just a little too thick. All right, yeah, the, the lighthouse is still going strong. The morning light fills your eyes and you try to sit upright. You're lying on the cold, wet dock where you collapsed the night before. I'm lucky I made it to the dock, honestly. A short man is shouting orders at a handful of workers disembarking from a near my boat. The man notices you. Welcome to Greater Morrow. I must say, quite a dramatic first impression. See, you've already introduced yourself to the jagged rocks along the bay. Did you not see the lighthouse? It was shining right at you. Oh, well, I'm glad to see our new fisherman upright and breathing. Your boat was hopelessly damaged, but I've had a few of the locals move your things to one of the old, our old vessels. We'll catch up later to discuss more details. Oh, he's the mayor. Okay. I'll let you get it out there and catch some fish. See if you can fill your whole cargo while you get your bearings in the light. Finally, I don't suppose I need to say this, but get back by sundown before the fog rolls in. Keep a close eye on the time. It can really creep up on you. All right, so here we are, Greater Morrow. This is our boat. You can either use X to leave or, yep, undock. WASD, of course. There we go. Hey, check it out. I'm digging it. I wonder if our old boat's here. I don't know, there's some little, there's something sparkling over here. I'm gonna go check it. Oh, you know what? Those are some fish. Let's see if we can catch some fish here. All right, so disturbed water, high, coastal, start fishing. And it looks like this is our cargo hold. Catchable fish types, coastal, boat speed 24 knots, fishing speed 85, lights, one meter. What does this tab do? Okay, that just gets us out of there. Okay, I got you. Well, I want to fish. There we go. All right, so we got our fishing pole here. Install time, two hours. Operational fish speed, 35%. Catches coastal fish. Splintered and fragile, this rod is only capable of catching the smallest fish. We have a peculiar engine. Two hour install time, operational, 14 knots. Someone tuned this engine in an unfamiliar way. Whatever they did seems to have given it more power than normal. Hey, I'll take that. And then we have some damage bar here or something. So, all right, let's get started here. Start fishing F. Okay, it looks like we just have to hit it when it's on the green. And we got ourselves a mackerel. I think we have to get like three in a row and then it sort of gives you the fish. Oh, maybe just two in a row sometimes. Who knows? Now the stock's starting to deplete here, it looks like. And another mackerel. I'll take it. Oh, and it's depleted. Okay. So I saw something blink. There it is. See this? See these little stars here? Because this is where my boat crashed, I think. And we got a question mark here. Inspect. Okay, F. The lighthouse towers above. Waves crash endlessly against the perilous rocks below. All creatures, human or otherwise, would have their brittle bodies broken and thrown at its feet. You ponder the intrinsic power of this structure, a vast column of stone shouldering the responsibility of countless lives, including mine, even though it didn't really help me with fog that thick. How will it stand? How long until it decays into ruin? Its purpose exhausted. The lighthouse towers above. I am quite philosophical for a fisherman. Of course, I don't know. Maybe, maybe fishermen are kind of philosophical. You get time out there to 
do a lot of observing. So we got observe or disturbed water, low stock, and all the right equipment. This is just shallow. So let's head on over this way. It's 10:50. I'm check checking the clock there at the top. Day one Monday. It's 11 o'clock in the morning. It looks like. Okay, so we have disturbed water stock high. I can fish this one. Let's give it a shot here. Okay, another mac blue mackerel. These are all blue blue mackerel, it looks like. I wonder if I'll ever catch anything else. Maybe that's the only thing I can catch at this particular time. Now we got three green bars that we can hit. I'm not sure. Okay, so we can rotate these around like little Tetris blocks. Oh, and it's, now it's raining. Filling this ship up pretty quick, I'll say that much. I think it's gonna take us too much longer. Big thing is going from place to place, it looks like. And let's try these. I already did that spot. Let's go out here. Try this spot. I can see nighttime starting to creep in here. Okay, so we can do this one. Another mackerel. I wanna catch a grouper. Uh, it doesn't look like I'm going to find one. This will probably be it right here. Yeah, okay. Well, can I move these around at all? It doesn't look like I can. Uh, I can't move the engine. Clicking on it. Can't move the fishing rod. So I think it's because it's installed. So I can't move it. Alright, let's get going here. Let's head on in. Sitting in an inventory doesn't count towards... You know, doesn't cost time. Select your lights by holding E. Okay. Light up the night, stronger lights. Oh, hold on. Since I can explore this. A floating buoy. It serves to mark safe passage past from dangerous rocks and obscure hazards. Its dim light also provides a brief, briefer sprite in uh, the gloom of the night. Okay. Oh, there we go. Such right click gets it going here. Yeah, okay, I got you. So whatever I pick goes down there and then... Oh, okay. All right. And we're going to go ahead and dock here. Right at nighttime. You step onto the dock at Greater Morrow. The mayor is waiting nearby. Ah, I see you've returned in one piece. Very good. Before you head off the town, we should discuss the matter of your boat. As mentioned earlier, your old boat was too badly damaged to be repaired. However, I'm more than happy to sell you that replacement vessel yours to own what's the catch you know there's gonna be a catch right i understand you may not have the necessary funds on hand so we'll consider it a loan but i want to make this easy for you oh here it comes until your debt is repaid a tiny portion of your fish sales will go towards paying it off small amount of interest will there there it is will go towards improving the town an interest rate of 42.99 percent So, to recap, you'll need to sell fish to the local market, paying off your debt, and in return, keeping the population fed and satisfied. Understand? Selling fish helps the town and pays off my debt. Got it. Where do I sell the fish? Well, yeah, where do we sell the fish? Our local fishmonger will appraise and purchase what you catch. He's open all hours. Poor guy never gets any time off at all. Off you go, then. Sell those fish while they're still fresh. Set on over here to the fishmonger. I love this. This is great. You enter. He's. This is awesome looking. <laughs> Just love it. He's like, I'm so tired. I haven't slept in. I can't remember how long. It's been so long. You enter the squalid shack on the fringe of the marketplace. A familiar smell of fish fills the air. Flies buzz haphazardly around the downcast man behind the counter. He even sounds tired. You're the new fisherman, eh? Surprised they found a new one so fast. Uh, you mean I'm just like the only one? What happened to the other one? What's your name? Uh, yeah, what happened to the other one? He, it takes a certain type of person to last out there. It's not a life for everyone. Anyway, to business. I'll pay you for your fish. Bigger and fresher means more money. Some species are worth more too. Other towns on other islands might pay you different. But while you still got a uh, debt outstanding here, I suggest you work on paying it off first. I got that. That kind of makes sense. So let's see what you got. 
Sell all fish for 144.76. That's a lot of fish to sell for that much, man. How big are mackerel? I don't know. All right. What's with the hooks and stuff? Does that mean I can put more things on the side here? All right. So return to town. The mayor is standing outside the fishmonger store. Excellent work. I have no doubt you'll be able to provide this for this town. Look here, I found this down by the docks. I'm sure someone like you can make something out of it. Why don't you take it? So what do we got here? We got a research part, a curious looking component. How could be used to develop new equipment, but would need some investigation at the dock first. Pick up storage to storage with a mouse wheel or discard. We're gonna pick it up. And then I guess I'll put it somewhere where it'll be le the least obstructive, probably down here. Oh, one last thing. Our local shipwright mentioned she might be able to make some modifications to your ship. You should pay her a visit. All right, head on over to the... Uh... So I only owe 28 29 on my ship? Oh, I got to be able to get bigger ships. Want to need a bigger boat. Rest, research. Let's go talk to the shipwright first, though. As you walk in to the yard, you see the shipwright making repairs to a damaged hull. She looks up at you briefly before turning back to her work. You must be the new fisherman. I can make improvements to your vessel in the yard. Mind you, I'm not in the business of doing favors around here. Payment is up front and everything t takes some time to install. Also, if you take on any damage from rocks or any damage at all, I can patch it up, mostly. She shrugs and gestures towards the hull. She's currently attempting to repair a number of wooden boards all well above the waterline are splintered and scratched. Take a look around. Just remember, the bigger the equipment, the longer it takes to install. So plan ahead. So we've got here a weighted line. Install three hours fishing speed. Now, is this going to go into the night? I think it will. So we not a big deal. And is this how awake we are? I don't know. I don't know. So right now we can only catch that. We have storage over here. I wonder if I can put this. And just I, it doesn't look like I can put it into storage. Oh, hold on. Maybe I can use E and Q. No. All right, well, I'm gonna actually, I see that this is like an engine space, so I'm gonna put it up here because there's no, like, icon there, you know what I mean? So what we got here, a simple skimmer, for that's for shallows, and this is for shallows, and that's for coastal. So fishing speed 40. Strengthened lines can catch larger and deeper fish. I like the sound of that. It's 150, though. I can't afford that, but I can get this one right here. Lightweight rod suited to catching fish that live in the shallows. A small spool makes for li limited reeling speed, however. So not as fast. But I... Th uh, what else we got here? Rusty onboard. 10, 10 knots. Ours is better than that. Ours is 14, yeah. This one's 10 knots. We don't want that. A trawling net. Okay, nothing there yet. And we got some lights here. Now, why do it makes decent effort at shining through the gloom? Decent effort, okay. Better than a candle. Just cracked a bulb, so yeah. Alright, anything else? No, that's it. Okay. So I kind of want to go for this, but we're really close to getting the uh, 150. I'm just going to save for this one, I think, right here. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Can I sell this? I wonder if I can sell this. Yes, you can. Okay, so I'm going to sell this and buy the big one. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so we got 160 there. And then I want to buy this one. And where can I put this thing? I can only put it here, huh? Three hours. I don't think it really matters. Okay, so there's a three hours right there. And then I don't have enough money for anything else at this point. So we're going to be doing some uh, shallow water fishing. I don't know how that's going to work out, but we'll see. Looks like we get... Uh, 50% of the cost back if we sell it. All right, return to town. All right, so my storage, I don't think I have anything worth looking at there. Oh, we got a cabin. Encyclopedia. The blue mackerel, practically worthless, but enough to stave off hunger. So we have different locations. Rod, trawl, pot. pot. Looks like you can fish at night if you really want to. And we got some other things here that we haven't found yet. That looks like a squid. Can't really tell what this is. Yeah, we have different, a lot of different, that looks like a marlin. Uh, stingray. 
sharks of different types, crabs. Not 100% sure what that is. This looks like another. This might be a tuna. Not sure. Was that piranha? Uh, that's an ugly fish. An yeah, eel. Uh, barracuda. I think. I'm not sure about that one. Yeah. There's a lot of fish. Holy cow. Abyssal. So, yeah, these are like way down deep in the stellar basin. All right. Volcanic. Mangroves. Oce oceanic. All right. Good to know. We got messages here. Encyclopedia map. Not available in the demo, but we can uh, explore this area. Can I zoom in or anything? No, it doesn't look like it. And pursuits. So these are our quests. Okay. Very good. Very good. Can I do research with that? Uh, I think I have research. I have one research part over here. Can I do anything? Not available in demo. Okay. I don't think we can do research quite yet. Yeah, I don't think that's going to be an option for us. Okay. I'm very intrigued by this. All right, so the mayor's down here. Do I need to talk to him? What can I do for you? I'd like to pay off some of my debt. I want to ask about the wider region. What happened to the last fisherman? Yeah, what happened to the last fisherman? Hmm, the last fisherman? Oh, he was very uh, unreliable. He'd go out at night, come back with no fish, and then proceed to sleep all day. He was also a terrible captain. I mean, really terrible. Constantly running aground on the reef. Even in broad daylight, the shipwright almost ran out of wood for repairs. No, he was no good. One evening he left and never came back. So long, he shan't be missed by us. Now, what else can I do for you? Well, let's ask about this wider region. Certainly. Is there somewhere in particular you wish to know more about? Uh, let's just start at the top. Gale Cliffs. Well, the main port over there is called a, pla a place called uh, Ingfell. It's right on the approach to the cliffs. Can't miss it. It's a whaling town, but I haven't heard much talk of it these days. I think quite a few people have left one way or another. Is there another area you'd like to discuss? Stellar Basin. Quite a popular tourist destination. There's a resort on, an atoll, on the atoll built atop, on top of a beautiful coral reef. I'm sure there's a wide variety of fish there. Maybe you fancy getting your hooks in some of those. Is there another area I'd like to discuss? Twisted Strand. Hmm, I don't think there's much to tell. Just tangled mess of trees. That must be the mangrove area. It's often blanketed by in thick fog, even during the day. You'd uh, want some good lights and a good sense of direction if you're going to go exploring there. Is there another area you'd like to discuss? Devil's Spine. Ah, uh, yes. It's quite exciting, really. An active volcano amongst the, a city of ancient ruins. I must caution against sailing there, however. The ruins lie in low water and would surely tear through your hull. Not to mention the aforementioned volcano could erupt at any moment. You can occasionally hear it rumbling from here. Is there another area you'd like to discuss? Well, that's it for now. I think there's one more question about... Oh, okay, the debt. We're not quite there yet. All right, let's get back to it. I think we're going to go ahead and Z out here. I don't think we're going to... I don't think we're quite ready to head out in the middle of the night. Resting until dawn. There we go. All right, let's keep going. Day two. Let's see what we can find out here. Um, I'm going to try just starting over here a little bit. See if we can get our hooks in something over here. Shallow, medium. Okay. Sorry. My finger went to sleep there for a second, I think. I'm not sure. What do we got here? A golf flounder. Oh, we got a flounder. This thing's look. Those are huge. Okay. That seems like it might be a good fish to sell. I don't know. A pathetic, cowardly bottom dwelling fish. Or maybe not. I don't know. Uh, depleted. Depleted stock. Let's go see what else we can find over here. Uh, I don't have the right equipment anymore. Uh, 
All right, let's do this. Oh, this is the weird looking one. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's a great eel is what it is. Okay. Uh, species, a slimy creature tainted with this, the silt and muck of the seabed. They really putting positive spins on all these fish that I'm ca catching around here, huh? Another great eel. I don't know if we have room for this one. Uh, yeah, I don't think we have anywhere to put this one. We have to throw it back. Discard. All right. Well, let's head on back. We might be able to sell it and then come back out again and do some more fishing. Just. I don't know if we'll have time or not, but we can try. See how much we get for this eel and this, uh, what was it? The cowardly bottom dwelling flounder or whatever. Hello, fishmonger. What can you give us? I've had a special order come through from a customer. If you can fulfill it, I'll pay you above normal uh, prices. All right, tell me about that. They asked for one golf flounder and one gray eel. Hey, guess what? <laughs> I can probably handle that order. Just bring them in when you have them. You'll need to have a rod that can handle shallow water to uh, fish in order to catch those. The shipwright should be able to sort that out for you. Thanks, Mr. Fishmonger. One step ahead of you there. Have you got any fish that for that order yeah yes just leave whatever you have here i'll keep the order on ice until it's ready to go okay let's go ahead and deliver that so there's one there and there's one there so we got 56 bucks for that nice good good they should be pleased with these got another order here this one's a little more curious they want a couple of squid and a whole and a and whole black grouper don't see many people fishing squid these days they only feed at night and well you know what nights are like around here good luck if you're ever hunting for specific f species check your encyclopedia could have the information you need okay well, let's go ahead and sell all these fish for another 66 there we go all right debt adjusted negative 10 i think i'm just going to pay it off because i think i only owe like 15 on it now or something like that let's go and see here yeah 18 sorry um let's go to the mayor that's where we paid off. I like to pay off my debt. Um, I would like to pay off all of it. There we go. What else can I do for you? Uh, that's it. I need to get back to fishing. Fish ain't gonna catch themselves. All right, let's go ahead and leave. See if I can get maybe a couple more. I don't think I can fish there. I need. There's something that's out there. It looks like a message in a bottle. I should probably check this out if I can make it to it in time. Yeah, I should be able to. Might give us some good information. And it looks like there's some wood there for repairs, maybe. Added to cabin. I'm gonna check out this too. What do we got here? A dredge. Oh, I get to actually pull it up. Shapes in the deep. You don't have the right equipment for this. Ah, oh, I need something to pull it up. Okay, we'll be back for you later. Let me go get these fish if I can. I don't have the right equipment. Uh, curtains. Curtains for me. I'm heading back. It's starting to get a little dark out here. I don't think I can fish these. I'll double check. Yeah, I don't have the right equipment. What about these? I think these are probably going to be a little too... Yeah, there's no way. No way. Oh, they disappeared. Okay, so be it. Not a bad day. Not a bad day at all. The mayor is walking quickly towards you. He seems to be in a good mood with a spring in his step. Fantastic news, thanks partly to your efforts. Greater Morrow is growing. Our town is sure to be swarming with visitors any day now. In fact, I've granted a constant uh, consent for the shipwright to expand her facilities. The old dry dock is operational again. I've also allocated some money to improve the fishmonger services. He might have something to talk to you about soon. Keep up the good work. We're glad you've chosen to be here with us. I'm glad everyone's starting to be happy. We've got a dry dock over here. I kind of want to see what's in my, uh... And it's not really where I wanted to go. I wanted to go see what was in there. My, my storage. I want to see what's in my cabin with these suits. So this is what I need here. Okay. okay. That's my side quest. Um, we got a message in a bottle here. 
Morning of the second day. This is going to be August 20th, 1927. Morning of the second day of the honeymoon, on our first day proper. Today, we'll, we're sailing around the islands and inlets at the back of Greater Morrow. I love the rocks here. The layers and colors are so striking. Furthermore, the fishing is relatively poor in these shallows. So I know he will keep his hands on the wheel instead of the rods. He renamed the boat last night, Julie. He did a fancy renaming ceremony and everything. I think he took that more seriously than the wedding. Supposedly, it's very important to perform it correctly, unless you want ill fortune to follow the vessel. He wanted to throw away everything with the old name on it, but I kept the keychain, Ocean Riches. She jinxed it. it. was a good name. I think he has prepared a surprise picnic lunch. I can see the basket half-hidden stuffed under a blanket in the front of the cabin. I love it when he tries to be romantic. Okay, that's mission, message one of 12. And we've got some encyclopedia entries here. Something about aberrations? Not caught. Maybe that wasn't glowing. I'm not sure. I wonder if... just kind of need to go through here and find the squid. It's around here somewhere. It's not too far. Did I learn about the squids yet? Or no? There's a lot of pages, like 47 pages. Jeez. I don't know what that thing is. Looks terrifying though. Does not look appetizing at all. Then again, neither, neither do shrimp and they're delicious or crab or lobster. This is the dry dock. We can make significant improvements to your vessel here. Talking extra space, more attachment points for equipment, and even superior hauls. We'll need a, de a decent stock of hard materials for these projects. Lumber, metal scraps, that sort of thing. How do I get these materials? I know where there are some. You know how to get them. There's plenty of decent materials around the coast from various shipwrecks and like. I'm sure you'll find a way to get at them. Thanks for the help there, shipwright. Materials assigned towards upgrades here will be stored. So don't worry if you only have half of what we need. Okay. So, engine space. So we can get, uh, hold... Modifies two storage spaces to also hold engines. Plus 100. More light space. Net spaces. Rod space. Storage space. So you can actually add to the hull. Okay. I was, I was wondering if that was going to be an option. Hull upgrade. So on and so forth. Alright, I'm sure we'll figure that out as we go. All right, well, let's go ahead and uh, grab some sleep then. Having a really good night's sleep here. There we go. A hunched woman approaches you from the steps to the lighthouse. She stops some distance away and looks at you with concern and visible apprehension. Lighthouse keeper. Why are you here? I've come to fish. There's nothing here for someone like you anymore. Do yourself a favor and move on. Well, she's a pleasant one. She turns and shuffles back along the path that leads to the light. All right, well, here, well, let's see what the mayor has to say. Just the person I was hoping to see. Will you be sailing out east towards Little Morrow? Would you give this package to the dock worker there, please? Uh, okay. I guess we're going to the east towards Little Morrow. The mayor hands you a small, damp package bound in string. It's dripping slightly. The dock worker will pay you upon delivery. Please be quick about it. I don't want it to spoil. Don't forget to check your compass and map if you get lost. Okay, well, I'm, yeah, I'm going to check my map right now. So that's where I need to go. And we just need to go straight east. I should be able to handle that. Uh, I think that's just across... Just across this uh, little... Uh, this little bay or whatever this thing is over here. So I think we just need to cross the street, basically. I'm going to go ahead and stop at these and see if I can fish. Doesn't look like I have the right equipment. Let's try, uh, let's try this one. I might have to go a little bit further out. I don't know. Yeah. I have coastal equipment, don't I? So maybe I need to stay closer. There we go. Let's start fishing. Ooh, a golf flounder. A trophy catch. So that's going to be a big one, huh? All right. Put you down here like so. Yeah, that'll be all right. So if it's yellow, that's a good, that's a big deal. 
uh, cyclopean flounder. I don't know, but my cyclopedia will be able to probably tell me a little bit about that. Another golf flounder, but not a trophy. Ooh. And we're depleted. Let me park it. Dock worker. Hmm. What? A delivery? Let me. Let's see here. He tears a small hole in the paper and peeks inside. You can't say for sure, but it feels as though he's shielding it from your view. Yeah, nice and fresh. This will do nicely. I'm gonna pay. I'll, I'll, I'm to pay you, I suppose. He hands you some money. Twenty-five bucks out of it. Hmm. I was given this old book a few weeks back, but it didn't make much sense to me. You'll surely, surely get more use out of it. Pulls out a crumpled book from his back pocket and hands it to you. A number of the pages are folded over. Sustainable fishing book, huh? Keep it in your cabin. Perhaps you can read it while you're on the water. Stop by for a chat anytime. I know how lonely it can be. So we got uh, my storage. We got a trader. You enter a brightly lit shop. It's packed with antiques. The shelves are full of jewelry and other baubles. Baubles? <laughs> An old man peers at you over silver spectacles. Hello, is it? That? No, ah, uh, I don't believe we met. Forgive me, my eyes aren't quite what they used to be. I specialize in antiques and jewelry. I'll purchase any special trinkets you happen to have. Have you got anything nice with you today, perhaps? Uh, not really. Mm -mm. Yeah. You see that? A sprawling jellied mass spills from a single eye socket. What appears to be a dark pupil is in fact the center of an egg. Cyclopean. Oh, because he's only got one eye. Okay. I get it now. Cyclops. Huh. Alright. Yeah, nothing for him right now. Alright, let's get, uh, let's head on back out. Oh, you know what? We should probably read, we should probably read that, uh, that book. What's this pursuit say? Show the fishmonger. Caught a strange looking fish. Never seen anything like it in all years. It, it died as soon as it was pulled out of the water, but the scales are pushed, pulsing with strange rhythm. I don't want to handle it anymore. I've had a headache and ears ringing slightly. Maybe the fishmonger at Greater Mara will know more. So I need to take that back to him and have him take a look at it. That must be the cycloptic fish or whatever. Okay. What about the uh, sustainable living thing? Where's it at? Open ocean twist. Yeah. So that's for Morrow. Morrow's. I haven't read this yet. I'm reading it. Select this act active bus book past time to read. Okay, well, let's get started reading it. I'd like to understand what this is all about. It seems like sustainable fishing is something that will be very helpful to me. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, pass a little time here. It said past time to read. I wonder if the rain's gonna stop eventually. Nope, still raining. All right, let's take a look here at this book. I haven't read any of it. Select as active, but I did. It says zero percent. Past time to read. Huh? I'm not sure how the how that's supposed to work. Oh well, let's head on out. I think I'll head over here first. Another message in the bottle there. Stingray. Uh oh, do I don't have enough room for it? Hold on. Maybe I do. Stand by. Nope. I don't think I do. No. All right. Hold on. If I could catch more, that'd be fine, but I need to find a place for it first. I don't know if that'll be enough. We can try. Nah, it's not. Oh. No. Which one's better? That's the question. I kind of want to 
I, I kind of want the stingray. Let's let's discard this. Good eating, but requires careful preparation. Stale, stale. Ooh, I need to get these back to to the fishmonger before they go bad. I got you. Let's do that. I don't really have room for anything else, so let's get this back and see if we can upgrade our boat, get some more capacity, that sort of stuff. Okay, we are back. Fishmonger, here's, here's some... A good stingray and some mediocre other fish. So I hand the grotesque fish to the fishmonger. He grins, raising the fish up to his face before inhaling a deep, shuddering, stuttering breath. Ah, oh, now this sort of specimen to liven up my day. Hmm, I wonder. He runs his fingers firmly along the length of the fish as though feeling for something. He pushes from one side of his stomach and a small shape can be seen against the bulging scales. He slices the fish open. From his stomach, he pulls a small piece of fabric and spreads it on the counter. It's a deli delicately patterned handkerchief. Well, I've never seen that before in all my days. I'll give you this thing and I'll pay you for the fish too, of course. It's not the first corrupted fish I've seen in these parts, so I'm sure you'll find more before too long. I'll pay you well if you find any more. All right. Well, I kind of think I should take this to the guy across across uh, on the other side of the, the bay there. He said, if I find anything interesting, bring it to him. All right, anyway. Yeah, let's go ahead and sell the rest. There we go. We're up to 232. Got some got some spending money here. Place rotate to storage. Oh, I want to go to storage with that. Oh, okay, so that's how you do that. And then it's up here? Oh, I gotcha. All right. Oh, I wonder if I can put fish straight into storage. I don't know if it'll let me do that with fish. Hmm. Didn't notice that. A man's looking at you through your cabin window, his face mostly in shadow. I know what you took to the fishmonger. Good fish. And I'll be clear, I know he extracted an artifact from it. I need to inspect it, but not here. Meet me on Blackstone Isle. Head out of this bay and cut south. I have a business proposition that you'll want to hear. I'll be waiting, Mr. Question Mark. Okay, all right. Let's take a look here at the shipwright, see if we can maybe get another rod on here. Should be able to get this simple skimmer for the shallows as well. Or, still nothing really too interesting here. I wonder if I double up my out my motors. You won't get far with this. That doesn't sound very, very good. I wonder if I put it here, if we're gonna have double the power. I kinda feel like, yeah. Let's do that. Will it let me? Yeah, it will. Alright. Enter repair mode. Fix damage and restore reliability. Okay. Repair all. So we don't have any damage to repair, apparently. Alright, and we're down to 131. Should still be able to... I'm going to exit repair mode. Should still be able to put one of these right here yeah let's do that okay there we go we've got some options here we've got some options all right so i need to head south now here's a question am i actually gonna be able to sleep here if i head out there i'm gonna head, i'm gonna head out there as i need to kind of go southeast a little bit meet with this guy Oh, well, I guess... Hold on. Can I save the game? I wonder if I can save it. Nope. Looks like it's autosave or something. I'll fish on the way back so the fish is the freshest. So, I think... Where am I at now? That's where I need to go. And it looks like there's a dock here. So, I should be able to stay the night here as long as this guy isn't trying to kill me. Yeah, and my boat is going a little bit faster now. So that's nice. Ruined mansion and a workshop. Oh, okay. You don't have the handkerchief with you. The man seems interested in it. 
should probably bring it to the meeting. I have it with me. Oh, I, it's in my... Is it in my storage? Hold on, it's in my cabin. No, here it is. So I need to put it here. Okay, now let's try this again. The man is standing in the doorway watching you approach. He's holding an old book in one hand. It's bound in crimson with silver ribbons. It's a fancy book. You can, good, allow me to introduce myself. I'm a collector, one of many things, of many things, art and artifacts, treasures and truths, and curios that occupy the periphery of desire. And you have something for me. Oh, his name's Collector. You give him the handkerchief to, you give the handkerchief to the collector. He holds it up to the flickering light and studies it. These patterns are unmistakable. Even after all this time, this handkerchief comes from an old ship I've been searching for. It sank many years ago. It carried items of great importance, as you can imagine. Retrieving them is proving to be a ch be challenging. That's where you come in. My proposition is this. I will outfit your vessel with the equipment that will let you dredge the wrecks and dark depths. Find the, me these lost relics and I will reward you in ways beyond all imagining. I'm not sure about that, but... You need not give up your fishing career. I merely need a few hours with your vessel to make uh, the necessary alterations. What do you say? Yeah, I'll do that, and then I'll just sleep here for the night. Excellent decision. I'll prepare the equipment immediately. He tinkers with my boat. Now I have a dredge crane added to my inventory. The relics we're looking for are a ring, a necklace, a watch, a music box, and a key. I would encourage you to ask around the towns about shipwrecks or other strange occurrences. Anything that might be worth investigating. Return when you have something. Alright. Alright. I want to take a look at this workshop. The workshop looks as though it hasn't been used in decades. Go inside. It's locked. Uh, can I go back up here? I want to ask him any questions. Where should I look for the relics? I should ask around the towns in the morrows. Somebody's sure to know something. Anything else? Nah. Alright. It's about time to sleep, so I'm just going to sleep here. Glad I don't have fish on board. Because this turned out to be uh, like a full day trip here. Alright. And let's, uh, let's go ahead and shove off here. Ooh, I thought I was going to bash my boat there for a second. Alright, let's grab some fish just for the heck of it. I don't have the right equipment. What are you talking about? I got everything I need. Alright, maybe not. Whatever. Picky fish. I don't have the right equipment for that either. Alright, whatever. Don't have the right equipment for this one either? How is this possible? I got sh Oh, I got double sh I double sh doubled up on the shallows. Okay. Well, that was my fault. That was my fault. Yeah, I need a coastal pole. Um... Hold on, I got something right here. I should be able to catch these. These are pretty shallow. Are you you're serious? That's still considered coastal? Hmm. Okay, let's head over this way. I'm gonna have to trade in one of those. I made a mistake. Wasn't paying attention. Ah, now I'm in the freaking ocean. Wait, hold on. There's some right here. Will you let me fish you? No. Alright, fine. We'll head over this way. Let's see what we got. Oh, we got some stuff here. Looks like shipwreck stuff. Start dredging. Oh, I gotta... I see. Oh, I gotta dodge him. I got you. I thought I was supposed to hit those. Okay. All right, I got it figured out now. That's what we got here. Pearl earrings. Ooh. Those are important. Okay. Can I put those... Can I put those in my storage? No, it's got to stay in my card. All right, well, that was interesting. Let's go see if we can find some fish around here. Air some. Hopefully, I can hunt you. Yes. Yes, that's a big old stingray too. We're not gonna fit many of these on here. If that might be it. Hold on. 
Yeah, that, that, that could very well be it. Um, no, we can get one more. I think. There, that's where I was thinking. Oh, um, no, nope, we're going to park here for the night. We have a, we have a dock over here. We're not going to get caught out. I don't think our lighting system is quite there yet. I want to learn a little bit more about that anyway. This doesn't look like much of a place. Yeah, it's just for, yeah, can I do research here? I wonder if I can. Not available. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, well, let me read my book yet. I'm not sure. Cabin. Encyclopedia. Stingray. Good eating. Okay, yeah, yeah. We already got that one. Pursuits. Search for relics. Oh, nice. Keeps a nice list there. Okay. So let's go ahead. I wish I hadn't caught those yet because I do have to spend the night here. They, they're they not going to be as fresh as I'd like, but oh well. That was kind of weird. Yeah, what's up with that noise? Okay. Let's shove off. See if I can find something worth dreading, dredging here. Take a look here at my stingray, see how they're doing. They're stale, but... It's the best we could do. Um, that looks like... So oh, there's a big old fish down there. Those look like... Maybe sharks? Something like that? Alright, fishmonger. Give me enough money so I can get my equipment set up right. Because I screwed it all up. Sell it all. 83 bucks. Hope the seagulls didn't get your catch, those blasted pests. Okay. Let's go over here to the shipwright. She pulls a book from the tool house nearby and hands it to you. A few of the pages are stuck together with grease. So we got another book that I probably can't read, but hey, whatever. That's a simple skimmer, and that's the weighted line. So that's a better one, right? Yeah. Let's go ahead and uh, sell this one back to her. And then I need, what's this one? A simple skimmer, basic, weighted line. So that's shallow, shallow, coastal. I need to keep this one on here. I should have never sold it to begin with. All right, now we can go make some bucks. Lighthouse keeper's got something to say to me. What is it? Do you know of any of the shipwrecks around here? She eyes you suspiciously. There's a spot near the back of Greater Morrow where the current state carries the in wreckage from the sea. Oh, so we need to go around the other side of the island. Some nights you can see it in an unnatural glow rising from that patch of dark water. Can't imagine what's down there in the deep. So if you're looking for what I think you're looking for, it's best you just move on. Dot, dot, dot. Okay. Does she anything else? She eyes you suspiciously. She already told me that. That's not new information. Have you heard of any strange happenings? Yeah. I see plenty of strange things from atop the lighthouse. Sometimes I know... I don't know whether I or not I trust my own eyes. She holds a lantern up so it shines brightly into your face. Are you really standing here in front of me or is it just another of the fog's tricks? There's no fog lady. That's that's the trick right there. Have you heard any strange happening? Uh, who lives on Blackstone Isle? See a lot from up here, you know. I saw that ill-fated boat return. I chose to look the other way. I watched an unnatural... That's not what I want to hear from my lighthouse keeper. I watched that, an unnatural glow flicker through those windows. Whatever you got planned, I hope you know what you're doing out there. All right. Let's ask her one more time, see if it changes. Natural glow, okay. Doesn't look like it is. All right, let's go talk to the mayor, see if he's got anything to say. What can I do for you? Shipwrecks. Do you know any strange occurrences? Let's ask about those shipwrecks. Shipwrecks, unfortunately, there have been quite a few in the recent years. The, ship, the lighthouse helps, but even it struggles to cut through the fog some nights. We do our best to salvage and clear any shipwrecks that occur around this side of the island. That should make fishing a bit easier for you around the back though there's a it's a little harder to get to there are some wrecks towards the deeper patches you want to avoid that area now what else can i do for you hmm 
Strange occurrences. Well, I've heard that my counterparts in Little Morrow met with the most unfortunate end. They went quite mad, or they went mad quite suddenly. One day he was normal, and the next he was pacing the shoreline, hurling, hurling people's belongings into the sea. After some days like this, he disappeared, never to be seen again. And nowadays, the tale of the old mare is used to scare children. Not many remember him, myself included, and those that do remember him don't like talking about it. A most unpleasant subject. Now, what else can I do for you? Um, yeah, I think that's it. Okay, let's talk to Builder. You approach a woman sitting on the dockside, staring out to sea. She turns to you. What is it like out there? Mm, okay, Moana, it's peaceful. It's got to be a damn sight better than this bloody town. I think I just need to get away for a while, maybe not come back. Going backwards is a mistake, don't you think? You should always keep moving forward, moving along. It's not so bad here. She's gazing out to sea again, lost in thought. Say, if you don't mind, if you, say, if you find me some materials, maybe I can help. Maybe you can help me move. I mean, really move. There's an island I've heard about, Steel Point, just to the north. I know exactly where that is. It's a pretty quiet place. Two units of lumber and two units of scrap is all I need. I can make a new place for myself out there. You'd be welcome to visit, too. Oh, so I would have, like, a builder out there. Okay. Just stack it up at Steel Point when you have anything. I'll pay you once the job is done. Another pursuit is added. Another quest. Yeah, I still got some more questions for her. Why do you want to leave? There are too many painful memories here. I don't want to be living uh, them anymore. It's a bit difficult to talk about. You know how it is. It doesn't do you any good to dwell too deeply in the past. Anything else? What do you know about the area? Greater Mara? Well, it was once a bright, bright and thriving little town, if you can believe it. There was plenty of work for me and my crew. New houses and shops every other month. Made a fair bit of money out of it, too. But I don't know. I guess the bubble burst or something, and I don't know how these things work. People started leaving. My crew left. I stayed. Anything else? Nope. That should do it. Okay. So, let's see here. I'll take a look here at my, my storage again. I got those earrings. Probably run those out to that guy, but I think I'm going to do a little fishing first. So, let's go do that now that I got the proper load out here finally so i can pretty much hunt everything all right so i don't think i'm gonna go the stock's low there i'm gonna leave it be and sort of let it replenish i have a feeling that's what the uh book will tell me to do and we got ourselves a cod nice A fang cod. That sounds creepy as hell. I'm not going to bother fishing this one anymore. Take a look here at the uh, pursuits. There we go. Clear that one off the map. We got a steel point mission. We got the other one down here behind Greater Morrow. And our encyclopedia, of course, we have all kinds of stuff. Oh, here we go. Deviantly sharp teeth with chunks of smaller fish lodged between hunger in its eyes. Okay. One cod. Fang cod. There's a lot of fish, man. 100, well, did that say 128 or 72? Not 100% sure, but either way, let's get moving here. This looks like a lot of fish out here, so. Yeah, high stock. I think this is gonna be a mackerel, though. These are kind of cheapies, but they fill the cargo hold. Sustainable, oh, so it did, it was reading it. It just didn't, took longer than overnight. Okay, well, that's good to know. Um, Can I switch to the other one? I'll try that after. I don't know if I have to manually pick it or not, but I, I think we have that second book to read. Okay, so we still have a medium amount in here. That's a pretty large school of fish here. Still medium. About time to head in anyway. I'll do one more. Okay. Leave it be. Let's head on back. Before it gets too late. Luckily, we uh, our boat's pretty quick now. At least for day six, it seems like it's pretty quick. And we made it back just in the nick of time. I get the feeling I have to start traveling at night, though, even though they tell me, like, don't do it, don't do it at the start. 
So let's head on over here to the fishmonger, see what we got here. Keep an eye out for larger fish. They'll feed more mouths, so I can pay you more for them. Okay. That's a $58 fish. Seems awesome. Sell all the fish? Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. I want to see if he... Let's sell this one individually, though. He didn't make any comments about it. I just did all of them. Never mind. All right, very good. So, shipwreck. What can we do? What can we do here? I can't put another motor on there. I can maybe put some uh, lenses on here. I'm going to have to move this down. So, that's 180. Wow, they're expensive, but they must be worth it if they're that expensive. 70, 100, or 750 lumens. Range 20 meters. That's 500 at 10 meters. Yeah, go big or go home. That's what I say. There we go. One hour install time. Now, instead of having the lantern at the back of our cabin, I think we actually have a spotlight we can use to go running around at night. Um, yeah, that's what we got right there. Okay. Well, that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and uh, get some sleep here. Oh, I want to check out the books. Make sure that I'm reading the right book. Um... There we go. On shelf. Yeah, there we go. I need to select it. 10% chance not to reduce fish stocks when catching a fish with a rod. Okay. So sustainable fishing. A heavy tome and uh, laborious read. Laborious read, I should say. It goes into great detail about techniques that can be employed to reduce the impacts of fishing upon fish stocks. Mention something about ensuring a healthy ecosystem for future generations. I wasn't really paying attention. All right, guys. Well, I'm looking here at the time. We're coming up on the hour mark. This this hour flew by because this game is very interesting and very unique and not something that we're used to at all. And, uh, man, I'm really excited to see where it goes. So, yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell if you want to see when I drop the next uh, video for this. Thank you so much for watching. You all take care.